Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verses are Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 through 10. See, we often find ourselves in places in our lives where we don't feel that we have enough. Maybe we feel poor, and we don't think we have enough money or enough things. Or we feel lonely, and we don't think that we have enough relationships. Or we don't have enough people who are encouraging us in our lives. Maybe we don't have enough time, and we're always just so busy. At the end of every day, you always have this perpetual, never-ending list of tasks that needs done. And no matter what you do, the list never seems to get any shorter. See, in our verse for the day, we are encouraged that we can have enough. And that having more than enough is not only possible, but that it is relatively simple. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 9 through 10. It reads, honor the Lord with your wealth. And he's talking about that, it says all of your wealth. And, with your, and by, by wealth, the Bible here means your possessions, all that you have. So honor the Lord with all of your wealth, your possessions, and with the best part of everything that you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats with over, or, or your vats will overflow with good wine. And I don't know about you, but I don't actually have a barn sitting in my backyard, just empty vats of wine sitting around my house that I've been hoping that God would fill. But these are the areas of my life. These are the needs that I have, or at least the wants that I have, that I love to see an abundance in. See, I would love to have more money so that I could afford to put more away into securing my family's financial future or maybe even to purchase a few fun toys. I would love to have more time in my life to spend on my passions, my hobbies, and my families. See, these are the barns and vats in, in my life that I would love to feel like I have an abundance of. But this promise from God is a, is a lesson in cause and effect. And to get the promise, there are a few things that God says that I need to make sure that I'm doing first. So what does it mean to honor the Lord with all of your wealth, with your possessions, and with the best part of everything that you're producing? See, imagine that your life is a pie. Now, if you were to cut that pie up into a bunch of slices, we often think of how many of those slices are we going to give to God? How many of these are God's slices? And this mindset says, if I cut up this pie into 10 slices, then God gets his 10%, and I keep the rest, and I'm good. And after that, uh, maybe these couple of the rest that I kept are for my family. And this one is for my friends and relationships. These few I'm going to keep for myself. And the rest goes into working and, and earning an income. But I want to challenge you on this mindset, that if we're to think of our lives at a pie, as a pie that we split up into these many different slices— God doesn't want just a slice of your life. He doesn't just want that 10%. See, God wants to be the filling in your pie that is a part of your entire life. It says to honor the Lord with all your possessions and all that you have. Give him your best, and he will make sure that the vats and the barns in your life are always full. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.